Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. On October 26, a supply cutoff letter from the Netherlands sent shockwaves through the global chip industry. Nexperia, a Dutch semiconductor company, suddenly announced a halt to wafer supplies to its Dongguan, China factory, citing contract payment issues. However, before the outside world could react, Nexperia China swiftly issued a statement on November 2, tearing away the veil of pretense. The Netherlands not only hadn't failed to receive payment, but actually owed the Chinese factory 1 billion renminbi. In this seemingly farcical commercial dispute, who is actually defaulting? Who is playing with fire? While Dutch Prime Minister Schoef was still saying at the summit, we meant well, China misunderstood, he probably didn't even realize that the Netherlands had already lost this gamble from the very beginning. The story begins in late September of this year, when the Dutch Ministry of Economic Affairs invoked the Goods Supply Act to temporarily take over Nexperia. This law, enacted in 1952, was being used for the first time against a Chinese company. The other party's reasoning was also plausible, to protect European chip security. However, the problem is that Nexperia was acquired by the Chinese company Wingtech Technology back in 2019. In all those years, it has neither caused a large-scale supply disruption nor experienced any major security incidents. Now, the Dutch side is seizing actual control without any prior consultation. How is this any different from robbery? It's important to understand that before Wingtech Technology took over the company, Nexperia had been consistently losing money. To revive Nexperia, Wingtech Technology even sold its own electronics production lines, dedicating itself entirely to the operation of Nexperia's business. It is precisely because of this that Nexperia was able to pay off its debts in just a few years and become the world's third-largest power semiconductor giant. In other words, instead of being grateful to the Chinese company for taking over this loss-making semiconductor company, the Netherlands repaid kindness with enmity, seizing the opportunity to seize control of the out-of-control Nexperia, just as its business was beginning to improve. On the surface, the Netherlands' move seems ruthless. Cutting off the way for supply is tantamount to strangling the lifeline of Chinese factories. But in reality, it's more like a suicide attack. Nexperia's packaging and testing plant in Dongguan, China, handles approximately 70% of the world's packaging and testing capacity. Seven out of every ten Nexperia chips globally are made in China. If the wafer supply is cut off and the Dongguan plant's production lines shut down, Nexperia's own global supply capacity will collapse instantly. This is like breaking your own leg to retaliate against an opponent, hoping to intimidate them. Logically, it doesn't make sense. Nexperia's customers are mainly large companies in the automotive and industrial electronic sectors, such as Bosch, Delphi, and BYD. These companies' requirements for supply stability mean they cannot easily switch suppliers. Even if the Netherlands finds a new packaging company to cooperate with, order delivery and capacity ramp-up will take time. But can European and American automakers really wait that long? In 2021, the global automotive industry suffered production losses of over 11 million vehicles and a staggering $210 billion due to a chip shortage. Nexperia China's response caught the Dutch government completely off guard. 
In its announcement on November 2, Nixperia China not only directly exposed the Dutch side's lie regarding contract payment issues, but also revealed its true intentions. We have established sufficient finished and work-in-process inventory to ensure stable supply until the end of the year, and even longer. Simultaneously, we are accelerating the verification of new wafer capacity, which will seamlessly meet all customer needs starting next year. In other words, Nixperia China has prepared for the worst, completely severing ties with its Dutch headquarters and handling the entire chip manufacturing process itself to mitigate the negative impact of the Dutch headquarters' disappearance. If we place this event within a broader historical context, we will find that the Nexperia incident is not an isolated case. From restrictions on Huawei's chip supply to the blockage of lithography machine exports, and now to Nexperia's supply disruption, Western countries' suppression of Chinese high-tech companies has never ceased in recent years. The Dutch government believed that taking over Nexperia's headquarters would give them control of the entire company. However, the reality is that Nexperia's main production lines are in China, particularly in Dongguan, Guangdong, one of its core manufacturing bases. China is Nexperia's largest market globally, and its technical team, customer resources, and sales channels are deeply integrated into China's supply chain. While the headquarters forcibly taken over controls way for production and possesses numerous technology patents, its commercial value is difficult to realize without the Chinese market and its subsidiaries. Moreover, this incident is not an isolated event. The shadow of the United States looms large. According to public information, the Netherlands had close contact with the U.S. State Department before the action, and the U.S. explicitly expressed its desire for the Netherlands to adjust the stance of Nixperia's senior management. In other words, this Dutch action was not its own idea, but rather an execution within the context of the U.S.'s comprehensive suppression of Chinese technology companies. Wafer supplies can be cut off, factories can cease production, but the pace of technological self-reliance among Chinese companies will not stop. Perhaps a few years from now, when China's chip industry truly achieves self-made, self-used, and self-strength, people will look back on today's turmoil and find that this sudden supply disruption has actually become a turning point on China's path to chip development.